Hey there Digital Soul, this is uh, Yves here. Uh, I just watched your video and I know exactly where you're coming from. Um, if you let me, I'd like to give you some advice about taking these pills. They help, yes, they help a lot, but they don't... I felt like, in the end, I, I eventually got off, but it was very difficult. And they make you very dependent. Very dependent. Because if you feel like you're, you have a panic, panic attack, you take one of those suckers, and it's, you know, it, it helps. But the thing I want to warn you about is, don't be dependent on them. Um, and what I mean by that is, every time you have a panic attack, don't go to your pills all the time. Try to work it out by yourself because it's your head. It isn't you. It's your head that's telling you that there's something wrong, but there really isn't. And I was on these pills for um, uh, about, uh, I'd say, nine months. I took PAX, so I don't know what your doctor's giving you, and that's not my business, but... Um, what I took was Paxil and it helped but in the end I figured out that I can't be dependent on these pills I can't do that because if I'm dependent on these pills you know that's what it's going to be like for the rest of my life I don't want a pill to make me happy so I talked to my doctor about this um, before I talked to my doctor actually I, tried to, I just tried to take the cold turkey way out and it did not work, man. It did not work. And so I ended up going to the emergency room because I felt like, oh, okay, I can go cold, cold turkey style and it was just going to be just fine. Well, I thought wrong because I got this big panic attack. I, I felt like jumping off a balcony. I felt like I was, I was just going insane. Insane. And... Um, and it just was not the greatest feeling in the world. If I were you, I, you know, and my friend was always trying to get me off of my pills because he doesn't believe in you know, taking uh, pills for anxiety or depression or whatever it may, it may be. But I eventually talked to my doctor and he told me, now this is the ironic thing, man. Um, he told me to exercise and you always preach about exercising always 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 and so now I exercise pretty much every single day you know I try to do it at least three times a week at the least and it helps it really really helps because it builds your serotonin level it builds it back up and believe me it works um, I don't know how much you're exercising right now I'm sure you do it every day. I mean, I <laughs> you preach about it all the time, man. So I'm sure you do that. But keep exercising. If you keep exercising, that serotonin level will go right back up, and I guarantee you, your anxiety will go away. But just be careful with your medication. I, I, I'm not trying to be a negative, negative Nancy or whatever. I'm just saying, be careful with with your pills because uh, I don't uh, I wouldn't want to just be dependent on them because I've been through it I didn't like it I felt like I needed to get off of it because I was depending too much on that and I didn't like that I wanted to be happy on my own I wanted to feel alright on my own and I took that way so they cut my medication in half and I tapered off I just um, tapered off and it went away eventually. It was hard. It took about, uh, I'd say about a good month before it finally tapered off, but it's very, very hard because your heart is racing. Everything is just going 100 miles an hour when you're trying to get off of it. And it's very hard. I understand what you're going through and everything, but just be, just watch yourself. Watch yourself. Because I understand exactly what you're going through. I get panic, panic attacks every once in a while now, but now I realize how to control them. Another thing you want to do is when you have a panic attack, 
Now, I'm not a therapist, but my therapist tells me you put your hand on your stomach and you you concentrate on your hand on your stomach. And you concentrate breathing in and out, all the way out, and breathing all the way in. You concentrate doing that and your anxiety goes away like that. I guarantee it, it will help you. Guarantee it. And, um, but just be careful. I, I, I don't want to end, see you ending up like me where I was just uh, too dependent um, and, you know, taking the cold turkey way out because you're going to, I think you'll realize that the pills, you're not going to want to take them. I mean, eventually you're going to think to yourself, well, hey, I can do this on my own, so I'm going to. And, you know, without you don't need the pills. And and that's what I I feel. And I've, I've been through this. I was going through this for almost a year. So I understand where you're coming from. Um, just watch yourself, man, and uh, take care. Um, just... Uh, you know, stick to your dosage, stick to what your doctor tells you to do. If you're thinking about going off of them, go see your doctor first because you do not want to go to cold turkey and try getting off them on your own. Have them have the doctor taper off for you. So, um, I understand all the pain, the, the needles, the, the the tension, the whole nine yards. I understand every every last word, and um, just that's my advice for you just make sure you exercise as much as you can um, think keep your mind off things do something that's fun a uh, fun activity do something that keeps your mind off things that are negative um, just just do the best you can um, my friend like I said he helped me uh, he helped me um, get off the pills, you know, he talked to me about it and told me that he didn't like me taking the pills and he, you know, I, I, I finally figured out that I don't need pills to make me feel better. I can do this on my own because I'm a strong person and if I'm a strong person, man, you are, you're definitely, you know, strong. So with that said, man, um, just here to give you some friendly advice, you don't, you know, no expert like you would say, but, um, Take care, man, and uh, keep us informed. Keep us informed, and um, we'll uh, talk to you later, man. Take care. Peace.